Good morning, my name is Tom, and today's video is about denial, projection, and rationalization. Uh, these are common uh, defense mechanisms, and they become especially common when people have, have an addiction problem. Um, and, you know, yeah, I'm not afraid to call somebody a drunk. But it's worth noting that, uh, you know, as individuals, we can't just diagnose somebody. It doesn't mean we have to, you know, be blind to it. But, uh, you know, you, you uh, when you're doing that, there should be some intent behind it beyond um, just trying to hurt somebody's feelings. And so, you know, that's just worthy of uh, putting some thought behind. Now, when it comes to uh, denial, obviously that's the, you know, how dare you, how could you be so rude, who are you to talk about my drinking, you know, that, that sort of thing, uh, obviously. But it also applies to other areas like, you know, as a addiction, whether it's alcohol, gambling, drugs, or anything um it applies to other parts of their life uh rationalizing away you know their problems as somebody else's fault you know or as uh, something that's completely beyond their control and when rationalization fails um they you know thought terminating cliches come out like uh well there's nothing you can do about it or it is what it is you know it's supposed to end thought and end discussion. Um, let's see. Rationalization is uh, also the, you know, it's something that acts in furtherance of the denialism, but it's also uh, a common example would be like in the workplace. Uh, you know, look, I can hold my own. One drink at lunch or two drinks at lunch is nothing. Or uh, getting passed up for promotion to the point where you don't even try anymore. And you say, well, I don't want that job. I would go crazy there. Or, you know, they they don't want, they don't need, you know, they, they couldn't handle somebody like me. Or, you know, just a bunch of excuses why you are going to stay in place um, that are not at all about your own shortcomings. And projection, that one is um, where you attribute your own behaviors to other people. For example, you may dislike somebody at work because you don't like the tone of their voice or there's just something about them that irritates you. And you decide uh, that what it's really about is they dislike you. They're out to get you, uh, whatever it is they're doing. You know, um, you know, it becomes a point where it's not that you were annoyed by them. Uh, they must be up to something. You know, these are all, like, common uh, defense mechanisms. Extremely common and problematic when dealing with alcoholism. And it also makes somebody easy to take advantage of and manipulate because once you key in on that knowledge, suddenly you can start playing with somebody's emotions. And it's important to understand that uh, a lot of times you're not actually in control of yourself as much as you think you are because somebody's pulling the strings in ways you didn't understand were possible. Uh, like, share, subscribe, and have a good day.